Hey guys, welcome back to another Swiss 001 video. Now today we're back in the Californian desert with a space shuttle. So yes, we're in the space shuttle Endeavor, and we're gonna see how much runway the space shuttle really needs for landing, primarily. Because obviously space shuttles don't take off on a normal runway, but they do land on a normal runway. So yeah, the space shuttle is known to require a long runway. It also has a chute, a parachute. Yeah, you can see it here. I'm sorry, parachute. So we will always weigh about 250,000 pounds, which is around, I don't know. All right, let's just go ahead and take off, shall we? Okay, take off. We're gonna have a tail strike, as you could just see. That was a very short takeoff run. And yes, we have already run out of fuel, because the fuel tanks are very small, because there's not much space in this one. But we have successfully taken off, but it's time for an actual landing. Now, the typical landing speed is a bit lower. We're actually kind of speedy right now. Okay, gear is out. Let's land. We have no engines right now, which uh, is a problem. Okay, that was not supposed to happen. I'm okay, we're about to land this butter machine. I'm being very careful not to crash this one. Was that a good landing? I hope so. Okay, let's try to stop this. We still don't make it to stop. Oh, okay, that didn't work. Let's move on, though. The next runway is 2,400 feet long. Let's see how that works. This one is actually an asphalt runway. We don't care about heart landings here. Uh... Okay, this did not work. Yeah, I now kind of get why this needs a longer runway. Not. And we have crashed. Okay, we have successfully kind of touched down. Okay, this one was successful. The problem with the grass runway was, first of all, the weight of this thing is very thick. So you kind of sink into the grass. And also we had a landing speed of 250 knots, which was way too high. Okay, after this successfully kind of worked out, let's go ahead and use runway four right. Now, as you can see, taking off is not a problem yet. And we already reached the speed of sound. Wow. So yes, let's land on that runway 1,800 meters, which is around, I don't know, many feet. Let's try to not crash that one. Hold on. Okay, landed. Let's use the brakes properly. And we are stopping. Let's hope that... Oh, oh well. Okay, that was a slight overrun. <laughs> so yes, this plane does require a lot of runway. Because, well, it doesn't have reverse thrust. It just has this parachute and the brakes, which is not much. It doesn't even have speed brakes, for example. Okay, next runway, 04 center, 1,233 meters long, which is around 3,300 feet. Uh, let's take off. What a takeoff run. Okay, let's land. Okay, we're way too fast. Let's deploy the parachute already to lose a lot of speed, but let's just try to have a good landing speed. Oh, that's gonna be super close. But we stopped. All right, gamers, the next runway is a lot shorter. 900 meters, which is barely 3,000 feet. As always, taking off is no problem. Let's put the chute out already again. It's kind of weird to control the space shuttle when you're normally controlling a plane. No, this was a failure. Please just stop. No. Wow. Next runway, 05 right, 600 meters long, which is around... Not much, to say the least. By the way, it's 2,000 feet. It's 2,000 feet. I forgot about that. There we go. Let's see. This shouldn't be a problem. Oh, God. This is gonna go so wrong. Let's land already. Ugh. 10 out of 10. Beautiful. So right now, there's like no point of actually landing this again because, well, it's not gonna stop anyway. But let's take off on the other runway. That obviously worked. Mm -hmm. Next runway. A bit shorter, roughly 260 meters, which is around 600 feet. So yes, we're getting very short here. Yes, this is what I'm talking about. Wow. All right, let's take off. Shouldn't be a problem. That was a slight tail strike, but we took off. Now the next runway is a few feet long. I mean, I don't know, it might work. Let's 
So yesterday on the channel, we had this vehicle. It has a similar engine. Yeah, and yes, if you watched the video yesterday, you'll also know that it's a passenger spacecraft. So the cool thing about it is that you can carry other aircraft with this one. Let's try the Cyrus Vision Jet, for example. And then after takeoff, we can separate the planes. Uh, what are you doing, Cyrus? A few moments later. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.